Everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Mind 101, and this is week three of the Summer of Jessica giveaway. It's actually, it's a little chilly out, but sun's shining, so I skipped the gym today so I can get some videos done. Now, first, let's go ahead and deal with the winners from week two. So I'm gonna put that up on the screen now. So that person needs to contact me at preparedmind101 at gmail.com. Now let's deal with something else real quick. I still haven't heard from the week one winner, which was this guy. So here's what we're going to do. People get busy, I understand that. So if I draw a winner and they don't claim it right away, I will hold their Jessica X throughout the entire uh, giveaway and I will repeatedly throw up who the winners are if you don't claim it by the end of the 16 weeks then I'll draw new names for it I mean I think four months is plenty of time to claim your prize so it's on you guys it's very difficult for me to find those it's like finding a needle in a stack of needles uh, to find those comments that that YouTube random comment picker draws because you know, it's getting up to close to 3,000 comments So make sure you watch all the videos to find out if you won So as I said each week, we're going to deal with a different aspect of Jessica X and what we're going to do talk about today is batoning extreme batoning now this is the part in the video where I need everybody to put on their listening ears and it will save us a lot of arguing in the comments section later. This knife, its two primary purposes are batoning and chopping. It's meant to replace a hatchet. It is not meant to replace an axe. An axe being a large tool with you know a one pound or heavier head and a large handle. That's usually where people start saying, just use an axe. Well, okay, we're two different tools. But you often see people say, well, knives aren't meant for batoning. And a lot of companies won't even warranty their knives if you break them during batoning. So when I set out to design this, I wanted to make a new tool. You know, this is literally something that didn't exist purpose wise, design wise, whatever. So, in, because I wanted batoning to be part of its designed purpose, you needed to have several things uh, coming together. The, hot, the, the grind, the geometry, and mostly the steel. That's why it's 1070. And we're gonna talk about 1070 and more specifics in one of the future episodes. But what I wanted to do First, I'm gonna show you what I think I would baton with this, what it's meant for. And then you're gonna see some other YouTubers start to gradually increase the limits of what they're batoning with this. They're gonna go above and beyond. Remember we talked about this in my how to use YouTube reviews to research products video. What, you, what you're gonna see some of these guys doing in this video is going above and beyond what it's meant to do. I'm not saying this knife is meant to baton a giant log this big. No, it's not. But it's a strength test. It's a can it do it and survive test. And I already know that it can, but I wanna get some other people other than me uh, end users actually doing it putting it on film that's the whole purpose of this it's basically uh, an extreme abuse test because when it comes to batoning you want to make sure that it can actually handle it and it's not going to snap on you when you're trying to split some wood so let's first go out here I'll do two quick ones uh, about the size that I think this thing is good for and then we'll start up in the ante so I cut a couple pieces uh, from this large branch that I took down uh, a week or so ago using a one of those pocket chainsaws. That clip's on Instagram, it's not on YouTube. And this is about, this is what I normally would baton. Let's, let's just say I just want some good dry kindling. 
uh, or something like that for whatever reason maybe you're maybe you're crafting something but this see a big blade like this doesn't necessarily mean you want to baton wood that's equal to the blade it's gonna make it easier to do stuff like this so this is a good common sense size for batoning and the knife just does all the work now let's take it up a notch it's got a nice big uh, knot in it this is about the max of what I would normally do if I wasn't doing some sort of test video. So beyond this, you know, I've got plenty of room on each side. That's about how far I would go. You're going to see some guys do a lot worse than this here in a minute. Not hard at all. So that is my example of about the sizes, size of wood that I would process with this knife. Now let's see how far we can push those boundaries. I want to go through this uh, crazy knot first. Yeah, no biggie. <laughs> hey guys, Steve with Explorers of the Wild. Shooting this video for Chris Tanner, Prepare My 101. He's putting together a little video of batoning with Jessica X and he wants to get some clips from his actual users. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and do some batoning here. I got a bunch of different woods. I got some of this uh, kiln dried white birch, nice and hard piece of uh, black walnut that I got. It's been seasoning for about a year in my yard. Piece of white pine, piece of cedar, and piece of maple, I believe. <laughs> okay, it works. Saw that just setting the baton, blew the wood apart. It's time to baton something a little bit bigger. Let me just grab one off my wood pile right here. Cause that was just too easy. We need something substantial. Let me just grab this little piece. This thing ain't too bad. I think this should be able to. I should be able to do this, right? That's, I don't think that's asking too much of the blade. I'm just kidding. Now for the batoning. I think of all the things, this is probably gonna do this the best. Don't mind them gunshots in the back. People are shooting at you, man. Okay, here we go. Let's see what this thing can do. Now this is the same piece I was just swinging at, so it might be weak into hair, but we'll give it a shot. Instantly bit in, that's a good sign. Nice stout tip. Ah, my baton. Let me grab another one. Continue on now. Yeah, this is a pretty tough piece. Like I said, there is one big knot right there just to show you. I think that, yeah, that's the only one. Come on, Betsy. I don't want to really hit the handle scales anymore. I already did that enough. She's getting there. It's just <sighs> taking a little bit of work. Phew, that and I need a better baton. Okay, the tip's getting kind of small. I guess I didn't put it in far enough. I just set it back in the same slot. So we'll just continue on. I just had to move the knife a little bit because I kind of screwed up when I put it in. Now the handle is pretty big, so it's nice to lean on, keep your weight. 
And that stout tip is cool. Come on, mother. This is a tough piece. You know, usually when you're out there camping, you're not really gonna be chopping this big of pieces. Yeah, there we go. Nice. I'll just finish this off. Hey, this is all for my firewood anyways. And you can see this wood, look at the grain. It is kind of curved. Wow, it actually made the knife, that's funny. Look at how it made the knife go crooked to follow the grind, or not the grind, the, the grains of the wood. It's kind of weird. I've had that happen with axes. Oh yeah, nice. We'll do the other half of that piece. This is the one with the knot, this side. Shit. Excuse my French. That's what I'm talking about. Damn, I dropped it again. That baton sucks. Sorry about all the fumbling. I gotta get me a real baton. I beat up the last one, so. So this, same height as I am. I'm six foot one. So, I'm gonna take Jessica out and see what we can do with putting that through this. Should be interesting. Got rather a light baton here, but I'm gonna start with that. I'll place the butt against this rock and see how it works. And this is the hard part. I'm going over my head. <laughs> That's birch. <laughs> the uh, baton is not cooperating, but there you go. Split wood like this is great for benches, tabletops, and many other projects. <laughs> Thanks to Jessica X. This is the Jessica X. And we've got this big old piece of oak here that we're gonna batten through, make some uh, make some lumber for ourselves. So let's get to it. We stuck a wedge into here to uh, take some tension off the knife and we're going to keep on going. I'm going to re-wedge and reposition. Here we go, Jessica X. All right, everybody. I'm Mike with Omega Survival and Exploration, and I want to do something a little nuts, a little extreme, a little crazy right now. I found this log on the side of the trail. It's almost as tall as me. It's somewhere between 10 and 12 inches in diameter, and it's pretty gnarly. It's real knotted up, so I want to see if I can baton it with the Jessica X. I'm gonna try like hell. I don't even know 
the knife set even long enough. Let's see what I can do. I'm not even really batoning this, I'm just kind of slicing through it. off two pieces My hands are starting to ring. My arm is killing me. I'm having trouble getting through this. I think it's too much. My arm is dead. I think I gotta flip it and start on the other side. All right, I had to flip it. And I gotta hold it up with my foot because it doesn't want to sit. Here you go, people. Contest as I've ever seen one. So I hope you enjoyed this segment of video. Thanks for watching. So that's just a small taste of some of the extreme abuse testing that we've done with this knife since it was released last year. I've yet to find anybody that's been able to break one or had any kind of problems with it. If you're going to buy something to do those kinds of tasks, you know, pick something that's purpose driven. You know, there's a lot of good choppers out there uh, for a lot of different things, but just so you know that, that this fits your needs, this is specifically batoning and chopping wood, hardwood. Uh, it's not a jungle knife or something like that. You want a jungle knife, get like a, an Essie Unglas or something like that would be a much better choice for that environment. But I live in Ohio, Eastern Woodlands. That's what this blade is for. So there's that, there's the little piece this week. Now let's get on to giving another one away. So here is the third one. We're gonna go ahead and mark this. Week three, you want to win this one? All you got to do is leave a comment in the description box below. I'll use the random YouTube comment generator, uh, choose a winner, 
and it will be at the beginning of week four's video. So good luck to everyone. All right, I'm Chris from Prepared Mind 101. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, share, and subscribe because people have asked. Look, you've got about a one in 3,000 chance of winning based on the amount of comments we've been getting. So if you don't want to wait, they're only about 54 bucks. Uh, the, the place that usually almost always has them in stock is Knife Depot. Uh, link is in the description box below, about 54 bucks there. You know, and if you win, hey, you can then you can dual wield them. And that that's fun. It's always fun to dual wield anything. So other than that, uh, just check all the links in the description box below. I'll be back with another video here soon. So see you then. those things would hold better <laughs> you still kind of killed it no I did yeah it does work a lot better up there yeah but you could tell that you could tell the difference between hitting it in the back and hitting it up at the yeah. front yeah definitely I'm used to hitting it back here where Well, at least now we know that's not going to work the way. No. <laughs> I'll have to get a box of screws and screw those all in. You think that's all we need? <laughs> and pour some concrete. And over here in the shade, excuse me, sir, would you like some lemonade? Please, sir, may I have some more? <laughs>